Good morning guys. So, I have an exciting video today. Um, I don't think I've done a video like this on my channel yet. Um, but a lot of you guys always ask on Instagram, like if I do a question thing, to show a hair routine. So, that's what I'm going to do today. I have not washed my hair in, I don't even know how long. A very long time. So, uh, and it looks crazy. It's like all matted in the back. Just like disgusting. So, we're going to shampoo, condition, go through the whole thing. Um, and I did pick up two new shampoo and conditioners from Target this morning because I ran out. I saw somebody on TikTok using this brand. This is the Emerge brand. So this is the um, It's Not Happening Sulfate Free Shampoo and the High Key Smooth Conditioner. So I'm going to use these two in the shower. I'm not going to take you guys in the shower with me. I know some people do like, they just put on like a swimsuit top or whatever. I'm not going to do that. Um, but I will see you guys when I'm out and I'll tell you how I liked these two products. I do like how big the um, packaging is and how much product you get. So you get 15.5 um, fluid ounces in both of these. And these were $6.99, however, Target was having, for this brand specifically, buy one, get one, 25% off. So, they were both, like, at the end, on the receipt, it says they were $6.12. So, which I feel like is a pretty good price for how much product you get. I noticed with a lot of curly hair brands that the packaging is just kind of small, and it's very expensive. Um, and I'm not here for that, so... We usually end up just getting what we can afford at the time. We don't typically stick to a certain brand, um, but the formula is always the same. So I'll show you guys that when I'm out of the shower. All right, you guys, I'm out of the shower. And as far as the shampoo conditioner go, I actually really like it. Um, the shampoo, I couldn't smell like a any fragrance or anything which I actually really liked sometimes fragrance it's just too much and it's just overpowering so I liked that this um, didn't have like any kind of strong fragrance and the conditioner I like my hair felt soft right away so I really do like it I probably will repurchase in the future so I'm out of the shower my hair is um, still pretty wet but I am going to um, re-dampen it. So I just have this continuous spray bottle with this um, As I Am Jamaican Black Castor Oil Water. This I got from Target and I didn't realize when I bought it that the this cap part was broken off. So it like it's hard to hold it and squeeze it. So anyways, I just poured it all into this continuous spray bottle. And I'm just going to redamp my hair. So, let me try to not get it all over the couch. I had so much hair come out in the shower, too. It was disgusting. But yeah, I haven't like shampooed my hair in a very long time. So, that was my fault. Okay, I'm just going to brush that through. I want my hair to be pretty wet. It does take longer to dry when it's like that, but it always soaks up the product better. So, like, see this is still, like, this is pretty dry down here. You, you can't even tell, but, so I'm just going to... Spray that again, make sure it's nice and wet so that it soaks up the product. Okay, and like I was saying earlier about, you know, products may change, but the formula is always pretty much the same. So basically what I do is I go in with a really lightweight leave-in. So today I'm going to use the Aunt Jackie's, this is actually a kid's leave-in. 
but it's the not having it leave-in ultimate detangling moisturizer looks like that it is pink um, but I like it it feels pretty moisturizing again there's just like a very subtle scent now I'm just gonna start breaking this in I usually start at the back because that's where I get the most dry bring it forward and then I'll start on one side from the ends working my way up oh I need to redo my nails my hair is getting caught the air just kicked on so sorry if y'all can hear that and then I'll just take a little bit more not as much as before for this side and another thing that I do is I always like pull it away from my head so it doesn't dry to my head then again I just kind of brush it through I know they say you're not really supposed to do this but I feel like this works for me and I brush out always do what works best for your hair because I mean you can even go out and buy these products but they might not work for your hair so curly hair is all about trial and error so now after I go in with the lighter leave-in I always go in with a thicker kind of like curl defining cream so I picked up this from the like mini section this is the Shea Moisture curl enhancing smoothie I haven't used this in years because when I was a kid I used it or like middle school I used it and I hated it but I saw somebody probably on TikTok <laughs> recently use it and they said that the key to using this product is to use like a teeny tiny bit at a time so we're gonna try it out hopefully it goes well because I don't want my hair to look bad at the end of the day. Oh, was that too much? Gosh, I'm so used to squeezing out a bunch. Okay, so I have that much. I remember the smell being really strong, but it smells pretty good now. So, okay, hopefully that wasn't too much. And I'm just going to do like the same thing. So start at the back, actually, like back here. Work my way down and then start doing both sides. Feels really good. Feels nice and moisturizing, which I do remember I liked about this product, but when I used it, it was like, when my hair was dry, my hair was so heavy and I, it was just so flat because it was so heavy. So I was not a fan. Okay, that might have been too much. Hopefully not. Ooh. I'm just gonna lift up my roots. And can you guys hear that? You wanna hear that like water, that scrunch? That's how you know your hair is nice and moisturized. It feels like they changed the formula. Like this feels not as thick. I've been debating if I want to get bangs again to kind of like frame my face. Cause I feel like, you see that? Like how it goes just like this. Like I feel like I need some to get my bangs back. Then after that thicker curl defying product I will go in with a very very light gel so I've noticed that my hair does like to have some hold and the leave-ins and the thicker creams aren't enough but the like eco styler kind of gels like those thick gels I've noticed don't work for my hair so I started using this Aveda con fixer it's a liquid gel there you go it looks like this and it's very liquidy and so I'll just do like that much 
so you can see the texture. Very liquidy. And for this, I'll just go like this. Again, kind of like pulling away from my scalp because we want that volume. Just do a little tiny scrunch, not too much. And then I'll take a little bit more and I'll do the other side. And then that's it for product. So pretty simple. Like I said, I always pretty much re-wet my hair with some kind of water or like that castor oil water. And then light leave-in, heavier kind of curled fine cream, and then a light gel. Now, most of the time I'll air dry. Um, sometimes I do end up diffusing but I think for this video, I'm going to air dry as long as I can. And if it's not drying fast enough, then I will diffuse. So I will see you guys when my hair is dry. Hopefully I'll be a little bit more put together. <laughs> All right, you guys, it's been a few hours. This is the end result of my hair. I did end up cutting some bangs a little bit i might end up going a little bit shorter but this is it i am gonna add some oil just to give it some shine this is just some grapeseed oil oh, just a little bit i actually love how my hair turned out I think I'm going to buy the big version of that, what was it? The Shea Moisture Smoothie. I think my hair turned out so good. Look, let me brighten this up a little bit. Oh. Look at that, so good. Yeah, I think these definitely need to be shorter. And then I always do this just to get some volume up there but this is the hair let me know if you guys like it I might want to do like a hairstyle like curly hairstyles video so let me know if you guys want to see that too but I love it let me see if I can get a thumbnail <laughs> what do you guys think oh I love how it turned out I seriously do think I'm gonna buy the big version of um, the curl smoothie. I definitely need to get a trim. I need to reshape everything. Cause it's getting a little long. These layers are getting a little long. But so far, love the result. Doesn't feel heavy. I still have a lot of movement. Still got good volume. Um, love the shampoo and conditioner as well. So that is my wash day routine. And for bed, just so you guys know, I will sleep um, with a bonnet. I don't really do the pineapple method or anything, but I will sleep with, it's one of those long bonnets. I think it's for braids technically, um, but the, sh the, the regular size bonnets, like the short ones, didn't really work for my hair because it kind of scrunched it up too much. Um, so I'll sleep with one of those long um, bonnets that are used for braids. And I'll also put a little bit more oil right before bed too, just to keep it nice and moisturized. And if you want to see like a day two, day three hair kind of video, let me know because there is a certain way that I like to do things with that as well. But hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more curly hair videos, let me know because this is something that I've kind of shied away from. I've always felt like I haven't quite nailed down what I like for my hair and now I feel like I've nailed that down so if you want to see more curly hair videos comment down below and if you like this video be sure to give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button but I will see you guys later bye